So I understand that there is a paradox in America that a poor person who cannot afford medical insurance, if he gets to be seriously ill, he will have to pay a lot for treatment. Meanwhile, rich people who have paid a little bit for insurance um, will not have to pay anything for their surgery. And Obama went through that himself because he was poor, he had only his single mother, and he knows that poor classes of society need that help. So I'm so surprised by all the by all the resistance he has met in that initiative. Yeah, there's a lot of businesses in the U.S. who are lobbying against this, the pharmaceutical businesses and the health insurance businesses, because if people don't pay for health insurance and everything, then... Um, then they will lose a lot of customers. However, um, you know, Roosevelt, Roosevelt never went against the, the middle class. Roosevelt went against the bankers, but not the middle class. Yes, and that is Obama's main, uh, main trouble, because in America, the middle class is king. It's what you cannot touch. It's the, it's the, it's above all. And so, if he, if he starts to attack or bother the middle class, all the trust that he has earned over all this time, it could collapse in a matter of days. And so now they're telling him that he has two options. Either he can use his um, his um, or, or oratory skills to convince people, because he knows how to convince and persuade, and he persuades people to come to his side, then, yeah, then his policies have a future. But then, when there's so many, when people are expecting so much from you, that always leads to some disappointments because when something is at its peak it can only go down from there. It's like we had the, in 2004 after the Orange Revolution, Yushinka. In 2004 everyone was on the street in the, in the center of Kiev and they were s uh, chanting Yushinka's name as if he was the savior come from heaven to deliver them. But now the way that people, but now the way that people have been talking and treating about him the last year. The same same thing happened with Gorbachev. He was lauded. Yes, people are comparing Obama with Gorbachev. So yeah, when you have too many expectations for one person, it usually ends in disappointment. So does Obama search for support among the religious communities as well? Yes, um, so I was actually offered in January when he became when he took up the presidential presidential. Um, presidential uh, office i was i was told to be i was told to offered to join his pastors council which is a group of spiritual leaders that counsel him but because of his uh position on abortions and gays. Um, I was attacked from all, all over the world, here in Ukraine and other people saying, how can you support someone who's a, who is for abortion, someone who is for gays? So I can only support him by praying now. Could he feel that support? I think so, because I talk, I have, I talk and I have a great relationship with his pastors, with pastors who know him, and I know that he prays every day, he reads the Bible, and there's a church in the um, in uh, on his territory, I think that he's a good person. So, so you don't have to give this as a you don't have to give a religious review of this, but as a person, what do you think about the pastor's visit of Patriarch Kirill of the Russian Orthodox Church to Ukraine? Were you um, updated on that? Yes, I was uh, following his visit, and I am so amazed by this person. I'm uh, so amazed by his erudition, by his mind. He is a man of pr progress. He's a really progressive person, and I. I can't understand why some people were protesting against him when he came. I think that every all of humanity should just be amazed and uh, overjoyed to have such a member. And the fact that in Russia the head of the church is such a smart and interesting person, in any country I would like to see that, not just in Russia or in Ukraine. I'm an African. 
Even if I was American, I'd be so happy to s I, I would be happy because when you see such a bright person heading a church, that only fills you with hope. I'm going to keep hoping and praying for him so that he keeps um, standing at the head of the Russian church for longer still. I think uh, he will bring some positive changes, not only to the Russian Orthodox Church, but the Orthodox Church in the, in the whole, as a whole. So, uh, to conclude, I would like to say that it's nice that I hope that there's more pastors of different uh, denominations that would maybe if not pray for each other, then stop cor uh, cursing for each other. This is the end of our program, which is Coffee With Me. Today, my guest was the senior pastor of the Embassy of God Church, Sunday Adelaja. Thank you for coming here. Thank you for having me. Нарешті папа буде.